Hi everybody, my name's Antoinette and welcome to Board Game Inquisition um, and to another exciting unboxing video. Today we're going to be looking at Sorcerer City from Druid City Games and this is the deluxe edition that I have. Woohoo, lucky me. And they very kindly sent me this game to review. So we're going to unbox it together. Um, I know a little bit about this game, which is that you are wizard architects and you're trying to defend the cities from monsters, I believe. Which sounds kind of cool. But for the most part, I don't know what's in here. In fact, I don't know at all. I just took the cellophane wrap off so you guys can come and uncover what's inside with me. It probably won't even be accurate, but who knows? I like first impressions and that's really what my unboxings are about. So first things first, let's look at the cover. Beautiful, isn't it? That's a really beautiful piece of artwork. I love the colours. It looks definitely very sorcery, wizardy, you know. Got all the good things going on. The box itself feels really, really nice and some of this here is kind of raised on it just a little, just enough, you know, for you to notice. And I think this would look very impressive on any game's shelf. So let's see what else we can learn about the game. Do they post it on the sides? It's quite a big box. You can see it's quite wide. Oh, look at that. The art's quite nice, isn't it? It's very, very pretty. Um, and as is the trend now for Kickstarter games, they don't tell you all the player count and stuff till the back. So here's the back of the box. So this is a game for one to six players. That's, that's a fine number, one to six, wow. Um, for ages 14 plus, and it's supposed to take about 45 to 60 minutes. Which seems amazing for such a big box to be able to play a game so quickly. Fascinating stuff. So here on the back, you can see some more of the artwork. Um, so you can see there's plenty of tiles here and cards. That's what kind of it is. It seems you're going to build things, you're going to buy things, and you're going to score things. That sounds pretty straightforward and fun. Um, and it lists all the contents here. But um, I like the I like the look of it. This is kind of very nice. I love how thick the box is. Don't know if everyone else understands that the way I do, but like this isn't a thin, flimsy, terraforming mirrors box. This is thick stuff. So let's see what's in it. Oh wow, it's heavy. <laughs> <laughs> and makes a good sound when you open it. So, inside. Do, 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 do. So, the first thing it has, look for other great titles. Yes, we shall indeed, as you may know, Title Blades and Grim Forest also come from Druid City Games. Okay. Then we have the rule book. It's the size of the box. And wow, look at this. I was not expecting trays inside it. I'll get there in a moment. So, the rule book is the size of the box. Um, you know, a big square, a little awkward maybe. Um, let's see what we got. Oh, it's huge. <laughs> so when you open it up, like, look, it's really easy to read. There's um, lots of space between all the things. That's kind of good. Um, it's got a table of contents, which is awesome. It's made of something quite thick, actually. This is quite fancy rule book. Um, although the size of it is like, oh, I see it feels like everything about this game so far, just a little bit extra. So how to sort tiles, set up the game. So there's a picture of the setup. It doesn't look too complicated. And then it goes into detail and all the things, round phases, round overview. Lots of examples, lots of colour pictures. This is beautiful just the way it's printed on this. I don't know if you guys can kind of understand it from where I am, but this is so easy to read. It's really easy on the eye. Um, so then all the things, we're still here, all the things. Variations, so there's a glossary. That's really good, it's really handy. And we're still going. I'm amazed, just, like we're only halfway through the rule book apparently. So infant for word and detail, spells in detail. Okay, so there's basically everything, you know, up close and personal. All of the tiles, then there's the monsters in detail. Well, there's a lot of specifics here. Hopefully you don't need all these specifics and they're just here to help. Um, the artwork, look at that, that's really cool. There's a little picture of all the different types of monsters. Ooh, I love a good lich. And then they're all down there. More monsters for different levels. Okay, so we're actually gonna get tougher or easier as we go on. More level twos and then artifacts in detail. So basically half of this rule book is everything in detail. Um, so here's the solo mode. It's set up on one page. That's not so bad. And you're clearly you're trying to beat a set number of points. There's an expert variant as well. And a nice piece of art. Now, what's the back of the rule book got? Yes, that's good. So it's got the round overview, um, which is just what you want on the back of your rule book. And a nice picture. So yeah, it feels like there's a lot, well, un an unnecessarily large amount of stuff in the rule book, but you never know what you might need to look up. So I think it was, I would rather it was there than not there. So what's next? Hmm. Oh, I'll open it up. Oh, look, it's like a city. Ooh, so this must be one of the tracks. So we've an influence rewards. So you can kind of see those. And then this is also a city picture. And this one is a market. So these are quite big. The cardboard is lovely. And whatever the cardboard is covered in is that kind of nice, soft, sheeny stuff. Really nice quality. I like the, the symbols. 
The iconography here is nice. It's all very clear. The pictures are good. It's very obvious what all these things do. I like the fact the back has the, like, the little city on it. I think that's cool. All right, so now let's see what's next. Um, I'll go with what I see first, which is these. Ooh, oh, look, finger holes. Hey! <laughs> so we've got obviously one for each player. It must be like a tracker of sorts. Let's open her up. Interesting use of colours. So they're not straight primary colours to let you off. So you've got orange and a mustard, an off green and kind of a purpley blue. It's pretty ordinary stuff. It's got symbols on the bottom and the same on the other side. So we must get one each. Then yet again, that's that nice thick cardboard with the nice coverings on it. I guess I put it back in here. Ooh, 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 look at this. <laughs> a sand timer. Oh, I haven't seen one of these since Robo Rally. Um, I like the fact it's purple. Why? Look at that, it's embossed on the top. Very cool. Um, and how much time have I left to do this review? Probably more than the sand timer is going to give me. And that's a nice touch. I quite like that. That's cool. What else am I seeing on the top here? Woo! And pops back in. I assume this is part of the entire setup, this whole lid thing. Yeah, that was everything that's on this level. So, what do we do now? I'm not used to such nice organizers. Okay, so it is in fact just a giant piece of plastic. Um, and as you may have noticed, I've. Wow, these are heavy. How do I get to the money? I see. So, the money was wrapped in the plastic in the plastic. So, we have a whole tray of money. I brought my trusty scissors and some sort of Sorcerer City token of valor coin. Very shiny. These are interesting. I've been led to believe that these coins are not in fact coins, that they are in fact victory coins. So let's have a look. Ooh, everything came really, really well wrapped, I have to say. Super well wrapped today. Oh, and it's in plastic as well, inside of the plastic. Was this necessary? Oh my god, I need the scissors some more. You guys can all sit here and laugh at my inability to open things. Because that's mostly what unboxing videos are, right? I don't know if other people, you know, have already opened their box and known what's inside it before they start, but I don't. I like the surprise. That's part of what buying games are about. Okay, first things first, let's look at this giant. Oh my god. It's so heavy! Please come out. Yeah, there we go. So, wow, that is some weighty Sorcerer City token. Show you the back, it's got the symbol of the game on it. That's really, really nice. Jeez, that, that, that's a whole lot of weight right there and it clicks into the top. Now, I'm assuming the top of this is gonna come off to let me access to the rest of the shinies. Ooh. I think it's just so heavy, it makes it difficult to get the plastic off. There we go. Come on, children. Out with you. Woo. Yeah, it's quite tight, but I think it's just cause it's, it's, it's brand new. So let's have a look at some of these tokens. I'm not calling the coins yet because I don't know if that's what they are. Um, I do like the tray they're in. This is kind of good. So it's like having your own delivery system. So I've got ones, fives, 25 and 50. Look at those. They're very snazzy all together. They're really weighty. When I say really weighty, I'm like, wow, that's a lot. They're definitely heavy. I like the fact there's two sides to this so that if you set it up at the table, people could reach from either side. It's cool. There's definitely less tens. 20s and 50s and there's loads of fives and plenty of ones. Does that one fit there? It does. And then you put your cover back on it and it fits back in the box. I quite like that. Those are some very snazzy coins. Now, let's look at the end of the rest of the box. There's only tiny things kind of left now. We went through all the fun stuff. So I'll start with this because it's got a bag inside a bag. So these just seem to be black tokens, just markers. We'll have a look at one. I wonder what all the trays are for. I'll have to figure that out in a minute. There's a lot of gaps down here. So yeah, so just kind of some wooden roundy tokens. They are quite nice. And then what seems to be left here in all these different colours are like the crystals and stuff. The, these ones here from the bottom of your score sheet. I'm really sorry about how shiny the light is on that, but this is just so shiny. Everything comes shined. Okay, so let's have a look at some of these. Ooh. So the trays obviously have marked where stuff is supposed to go. I'll pull out at least one or two of these. Come on, we'll have a look at the little head. Oop. They're rather on the small side. I assume that's what they fit on your board. Ooh, they are made of something cool. They're plastic. Like tiny kind of chalky plastic. Look, it's a tiny, tiny head. There's a whole bag of them. There seems to be just one for each player. So obviously this is to mark all your tracks. There is also, so that was the head. What else do we have? We have like a little castle. I'll show you the back of the castle. 
Can't take them all out every time. So then, what's this one supposed to be? It looks like a turret. No, it's a tent. Whoop, like a re-ELD tent. And then the purple ones seem to be crystals. Yeah, because like, look, you can see them on the thing. But there you go, have a look at the crystals. They're a nice shade of purple as well. Cool. All right, so what's left? This thing of cards, influence rewards. All right, now it's got the nice tab on it. That's when you know you're getting the deluxe editions. Tabs on your cards. Ooh, and the cards feel nice. <laughs> I love that you know within a minute of taking the plastic off. So these are linen finished cards. Let's see at the back of them. So some of them are influence rewards. What else do we have? We just have people. Some kind of really nice artwork there, isn't it? It looks very good. I flipped them all over in a second. Ooh. And then there's a whole tier of monsters, lots of monsters, and then something to do with the year. So I wonder if that's how many turns you play. Okay, let's flip them over. Okay, so year one just seems to have money on it. Seven, okay, all the year cards. What's next? So then you get like, these are the monster cards. Tier one, yeah, they look like monster cards. Building phase, as soon as the dragon tile is placed. Cool, so it's like different things will happen in the different phases and there's all the monsters. Excellent. These are really nice cards. I quite like the art on the monsters. I think they look very cool. Fascinating. Okay, and then we've got like these ones, which are just people on them. And they seem to be giving you those resources we looked at a moment ago. Okie dokie. I like the art on these. The ring is, not, is nice. And I like that, that motif is kind of continued throughout the game. Good stuff. And then these ones are some sort of rewards. So kill two monsters in your district, gain two tiles. That's cool. Good, good, good. So a lot of it seems to be from these monster cards where you have things at the start so that in particular phases that will happen. Okay, so now we've got to this point and we haven't seen any tiles. So I'm pretty much convinced the tiles are under this box or as I would say, inside the computer. Oh yes. <laughs> I de oh my God, this is a lot of cardboard. Like, <laughs> it's like, it's really heavy. I thought the metal coins were heavy. This is crazy. Okay, so place this board under the box insert once you've removed all the pieces. Lots of games seem to be doing that lately and I think it's, it's kind of interesting. I'll put this one back in momentarily just so we can have a look at what's in here. Because I think this is the meat and the bones of the game. Alright, so here is actually what the money would look like if you didn't have the shiny stuff. Fair enough. Um, there's these nice tokens. What do they feel like? Let's pop one out. Always pop it out from the other side. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, they're they're really solid -y, like cardboard, they're, you know, they're good stuff. Yeah, that's nice and thick and chunky and it's got that nice kind of waxy covering on it. So there's the thing for your points markers. So what else do we get when we go down? Um, some more points, okay. Whoa, that's a bit psychedelic. Right, so these are obviously the tiles we're going to be placing. I'm trying to figure out how different they look, I suppose. These ones have kind of shapes. Maybe we have to match the shapes. Um, considering there are a lot of tiles in this, let's see what quality we have with the tiles. Oh, look, the back of them are different. Yeah, I like that motif that's kind of continues throughout the whole game. Right, so these are nice. These are not as nice as some of the other cardboard pieces, interestingly enough. They're not as thick or as, as kind of rough on top. These are more durable for sure. Um, they're still quite nice though. There's plenty thick and they're, they're well treated. Um, but they're just, they're not the same as, as the money ones and things like that. Like, maybe, no, they absolutely are. They have a different coating. I don't know, it feels different. I'm going with it feels different. All right, so how many of these do we have? Ooh. So there are lots of tiles here. I suppose, considering you can play up to six players, you would want a lot of tiles. Oh, these ones have things written on them, so you can move stuff. Ooh, it looks like you're going to be making particular shapes out of your tiles. And then you'll get to do things based on what ones you connect together. That's my estimation until I read the rule book. Um, and there are lots of choices here. Look at this. Obviously these are more expensive, look. With the stuff written on them. The colours are kind of crazy looking. Like, I'm dying to see it actually all set up together to see how they all knit together. Oh, here's the bosses, or the monsters. There's a dragon and a dark mage. So they all have their own tiles as well. These are all still like these in the back. These are very easy to pop out by the way. Look, you can see they're kind of falling out. Very cool. I like these rainbow tiles. They're awesome. I quite like things to be colored -y. So we've got liches and krakens. Wow, a lot of popping. I need to hire a small child to help with the labor. Yeah, skeletons. 
goblins. There's plenty of these, so there must be lots of monsters for us to fight, is what I've determined. Um, ooh, an invisible stalker. It's quite creepy. I like that, and more rainbow tiles. And then finally, the last board has some more of these tiles. So clearly the game is all about these things. Like, the other stuff seems to be just, you know, superfluous. We have cards and stuff, but it seems to mostly be all about the tiles. So I'm going to put this back in until I can have time or a weekend to pop up at it. There's so much stuff in it. Um, it's interesting that a timeline game comes in such a, a large box and in such a large kind of display. Yeah, would you guys, do you guys think so? Like, I suppose, you know what, not all big games have to come in big boxes. I'm just very curious to see how this will play so, qu so quickly. Um, and have so many players. I'm fascinated. So these were kind of, oh yeah, look, they were there on the top. They had edges. It's like somebody planned this. And now I'm failing at the planning portion. <laughs> they went in one way, they come out another. I know they do. Okay, we'll worry about this at a later date. You guys don't need to witness that. Overall, this is a really nice production. It's not a, it's a very pretty looking game. Um, it's got a theme. I'm pretty inter I'm pretty interested in trying it. I love me a good tile lane game. I also love wizards. So that's pretty cool. And there's monsters. It's got all sorts of good things going for it. I am I cannot wait to take this for a spin now that I know it's inside the box. And so do you, because you've been watching. Um, so thank you for watching. You, this is Board Game Inquisition and this was Sorcerer City. Take note, the deluxe edition. Thanks so much for being here with me and that's what's inside the box. Um, if you like what I do, why not like or subscribe to my channel so you can hear about future videos that may or may not be unboxing related. Um, and thank you as always for watching and I will see you again soon. Take care everybody. Bye bye.